Next, let's take a look at the Python Dask library. This is a parallelization library that is quite unique because it parallelizes graph dependency. Let's say you want to do a bunch of computations and uh, these can be uh, arranged into functions. So you want to run a lot of functions and then these functions depend on each other. So the input of one function needs output from a previous function and so on. So you have a dependency graph where you have a lot of functions uh, that you need to compute and some functions you cannot compute before you compute the earlier ones. What Python Dask will do, it will automatically take this graph of dependencies and it will try to run it in parallel. Depending on the number of processes you have available, you can speed up your calculations by a significant factor. In Dask, you can actually uh, create virtual Dask clusters uh, that you can map to processes in an existing Slurm job on an HPC cluster. You can actually run Python Dask not just in shared memory, not just on some number of processes on a single node, but you can also do it across many different nodes. Here I want to give you an example of what Python Dask can do. Let's say we have this function uh, slow add and that simply takes two numbers x and y and then it computes their sum, returns their sum, but then it sleeps for one second. So that means that every time you run slow add and pass any two numbers to it, it will take uh, just over one second to run it. And then you initialize a list of eight integer numbers. So uh, then you have a, an empty list and then you cycle through all the elements in your data list and then you take each element in this list and you add one to it through slow add function. Then the result is y, x plus one is y, and you append this y to a results array. Because here we have eight elements and we're doing it sequentially in serial, it will take uh, just over eight seconds to run the slow add function eight times. So that means that when you compute the total, which is the sum of all elements in the results list, this entire computation will take just over eight seconds. And this is what, what happens when you run these two cells in Python. Now, let's say we want to do this via Dusk. What we do here is, from the Dusk library, we import this delete function. And this delete function takes two sets of arguments. So the first argument is um, the name of the function, that uh, the computational function uh, that, that you run in Python from the previous slide. And uh, the second pair of arguments is, uh, is uh, the two numbers to add. x and 1 are going to be passed into the slow add function, slow add, up to this delete, uh, delete object. So here we're cycling, uh, the flow, computation workflow is exactly the same. We're cycling through all elements in data. And then for each element in data, uh, we add 1 to it uh, via the slow add function that takes one second to run y is a delayed object, and then we append it to the list results. Uh, then we create another delayed object. So here we are calling the mathematical function sum to sum all the elements in the results list, and then we print the total. So there are, in total, there are nine delayed functions, eight delayed functions from this loop, and then one delayed function to compute the sum. If you run uh, this cell as it is, and look at the timing, it'll actually tell you that it takes 1.9 milliseconds, which of course doesn't make any sense because this is you know, a factor of several thousand faster than what we had before. And the reason for this is because there is no computation happening here. Computation is happening when you call the compute function. You take any delayed object, for example, the end delayed object total, and I say total compute function, and that will actually uh, force dusk to compute this entire graph dependency. So it knows that to compute the total, it needs uh, these uh, all elements in the results list. And these elements are computed via the slow add function. So basically it will, at this point, Dusk will build a graph of dependencies. It will know that it needs to compute slow add eight times and then take the output of those slow add functions and then feed them into the results list and then compute the total sum. Now, if I run this on, on my laptop, on my laptop, I have four processes. Uh, these, uh, this cell, this total compute actually takes two seconds to run. So that means that I get a speed up uh, of four. So previously it was taking eight seconds. 
and now on four processes it takes two seconds to run. And this is because a lot of these slow add functions are running in parallel. You can actually visualize the task graph in, in Dusk and say total, and instead of uh, calling the compute function, you call the visualize function. And if you're running this in Jupyter Notebook, it will just show this nice graph uh, right inside the Jupyter Notebook, where you see that you have these, uh, these slow add functions that you need to compute eight times, and then uh, the uh, rectangular boxes show the output of a function. So you have these eight outputs that are fitting into the summation, and then you get the final result. And it takes uh, eight seconds to run this in serial, and then it takes two seconds to run this in parallel uh, with Dusk on four processes.